Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again, and tonight I'm taking a look at some alternatives for uh, your internet apps, uh, the, being, the primary one being Google Chrome. Um, the Chromium web browser is available in the Synaptic Package Manager, and it's the open source version of Chrome, but if you want proper Google Chrome, if you're a Google kind of guy and you want Google Chrome, well, that's available too, but not from the default repos. So what you do is you go to Google got Google dot com and just search for Chrome. You click on the Chrome link and you'll get a button for download Chrome and it'll let you have you pick your package. Now if you're on 32 bit like I am at the moment, you'll want the 32 bit deb for Debian and Ubuntu. If you are on 64-bit, you'll want the 64-bit version. Uh, you hit click the, uh, you make your selection, you click accept and install. It doesn't actually automatically install an annex, it's just going to download the file. Save the file to your home folder or to your downloads folder, somewhere you can find it. I've saved mine to the home folder, I've already downloaded it. It's a quick download. So Google Chrome Stable Current i386 is the proper download. We, there's a couple ways we can do this. I'm going to do it the GUI method with an application called GDebbie. It is in System Tools. And GDebbie will let us install a dev file that we've downloaded. And you can see that it's going to. And it, the nice thing about this method, rather than using D, D package or something like that, is that GDB will actually is internet enabled. It will go out and satisfy any dependencies. In this case, all the dependencies are satisfied. So we hit the big friendly install package button. This is your root password, and it's going to do its thing. Now, it might take a while for the package to install. Google Chrome is a decent sized package, but it's only one package in this case because we already have all the dependencies. So it shouldn't take too long. If you want to view the, pra the progress, you can crack open terminal here and see it. But as you can see, we've already got Google Chrome finished. So we hit the close button. We're done with GDB. Come down here to Desktop, Applications, Internet. Ah, where is it? It should be here, but it's not. Oh, that's because we have to hit the Update Menu button. FYI, future, a future in the future, there's a, a future version of Antics in the works where the menu will auto-update. So Internet, Google Chrome, after the update, and up she comes. I'm not going to make it the default browser because I got a lot of st other stuff installed at the moment. And there you are. You got Google Chrome. You can even get rid of the system title and bars by right clicking in the blue area. This is actually a Google Chrome setting and getting rid of the window bars. So now it looks like its own little application. And it works fine. Go ahead and search for my channel. Sometimes it finds me, sometimes it don't. I have the downside of having a common name, apparently. But the channel name will work, youtube.com slash run with a dolphin. There I am. And we can click on a video and we'll see that YouTube works just fine. You can't hear it, but the audio is playing. And there you go. Google Chrome on your Annex 13 install. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to annex.mepis.org or throw up a post at annex.freeforms.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.